Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be showing you an object-oriented programming example in Python. So I've done a previous video explaining how object-oriented programming works, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a more complex example just so you can you know, further enhance your skills with OOP. It's going to involve a little bit of maths, but don't worry if you don't understand maths. I'm going to explain every step along the way. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we are in PyCharm. I'm just going to show you the previous tutorial that I've done. So if you haven't touched on object-oriented programming before, this here that I'm show currently showing on, on my screen, this here that you're seeing on my screen is from the tutorial that I've just done previously. So if you're interested in that and you want to learn the basics of object-oriented programming, then I'd recommend checking out that video. But for today, I'm going to be showing you a more complex example that hopefully will help you wrap your head around object-oriented programming. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to import the relevant modules. Now I'm going to leave this blank to begin with, just because we're not currently going to import any modules, but I'm going to show you later what you can do. Um, with certain modules. So what I'm going to do is tell you what example I'm, I'm going to show you really. So I'm going to take certain coordinates. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take, so I'm going to take two coordinates, x and y. Now that you may think, what does this mean? Essentially, it just means that we will have two values for x and y. So these can be any numbers, and then I'm going to show you what you can do with a class and how you can manipulate these specific uh, numbers. So we're going to create the class. So I'll just put creating the class, and I'm going to call the class. I'm going to call it coordinates. Okay. We're going to create the initializer, and in here we're going to have a starting x. And we're going to have a starting y. So what we're going to do is we're going to input an x and y value into this class coordinates and then we're going to do some methods uh, and get Python to do specific things that we want. We want So you know, addition, multiplication or some more complex things. Okay, so we've created this and all we're going to say is self.x. So x is going to be our x number. We're going to make that equal to starting x and we're going to say self.y is going to equal starting y. Perfect. So that's all we're going to do to begin with. Um, and you know, later we can add an extra variable, so a z coordinate in here if you wish. Um, but for today, I'm just going to leave it with two just so it's it's more complicated, but it's not too complicated. Okay, so we've created our initial, we've got, we've created our initializer. Now we're going to create some methods. And before I do that, I'm just going to say here, this is going to create, this is going to create, so this is going to create a new point at the coordinates given below. Okay, so that's what we'll input into our class. Now I'm going to create an initializer and just say retrieve, I'm going to say return x and all this is going to do is it's going to literally return our self.x and we're going to do the same for y, so we're going to say return y and this is just going to return self.y. Okay, so I'll do I'll do an example to be in with before we create some more methods. I'll say okay, let's I'll say okay, let's create a variable. So call it a, uh, and this is going to be our coordinates. Now in here we need to have a starting x and a starting y. So I'll just keep it with zero zero, and all I'm going to say is a dot, and we're going to do return x, and we're going to do a dot return y, and we'll print this. This is just showing you how it works. Obviously, if you're already familiar with what's going to happen, then Put your guesses in now and see if it does exactly what you expect. So I'll just run this Python file aside from the OOP. Perfect. So we've got zero, zero. So if I was to change this to 10 and zero, or let's say 10 and 12, and I run this, amazing, 10 and 12 pop up. So there we go. We've created a very simple method. We've essentially created a class that if you input an X and a Y, you can then return that X and a Y, which you may think, well, that's quite easy. I could do that in Python without a class, which is true. You could, but it's not as cool as this. So now what we're going to create another method. So let's say addition, we'll call it addition. And we've got self. And all this is going to do is we're going to return self.x plus self.y. And then we'll, we'll do a couple more. So let's say subtraction. And we'll do return self.x minus self dot y and then let's do multiplication multiple 
application and all we need to do is return self.x multiplied by self.y okay just get rid of those brackets outside there and then let's print it so let's print the final one so a dot multiplication will run amazing 120 what that's done is taken our x 10 times by 12 we've got 120 amazing so awesome very nice now what we can do and this is going to be a little bit more mathematical but don't worry it's just essentially a formula we're going to say definition is going to be the distance from the origin so there's a formula in maths that you can use uh, and this will give you the distance so say you have you know here's the origin so zero zero and so you've got a point over here it will tell you this exact distance here and the way that you do that is with some very simple Pythagoras's theorem so all we're going to do is we're going to return we're going to say self dot x and we're just gonna I'm just going to put this in brackets here put self dot x in brackets we're going to square it then we're going to add self dot y again we're going to put self dot y in brackets we're going to square that and then the entire thing so essentially what we've got is we've got x squared plus y squared and what we need to do then is take the square root now you may be thinking right now i have no idea what's going on not sure what math is going on honestly don't worry this is just a very simple formula this is pythagoras's theorem if you remember that from uh, you know your younger days learning it at school this is pythagoras's theorem it's quite simply the square root of a squared plus b squared okay so we've got the distance from the origin so let's do that let's say print a dot distance from the origin will run amazing there we go simple so let's say you have you know an assignment at school and you're given these two coordinates and you're asked to figure certain things out this is a very nice way of doing it uh, and a very nice way of of it returning it very very simply instead of having to input all the uh, numbers in the calculator so that's a distance from origin you can also do things like finding the angle which i will omit from this video because i don't want to go too much into the maths i want to make sure i'm you know showing you how object oriented programming works so the final thing that i'm going to show you and this is really really cool is how you can not only you know just do some simple def you know will return certain numbers or letters or strings you can also incorporate modules and that's why i left at the top importing relevant modules so we're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt okay so if you're unfamiliar i've got videos on my channel explaining how matplotlib works but essentially it's just a plotting library in python and all we're going to do is we're going to create one final method we're going to call it plot and all we're going to say is plt.plot self.x self.y we're going to input some parameters in here so we'll say the marker on this plot is going to be a circle and the marker size is going to equal 10 okay amazing and then the final thing you need to do and this is something that's worth remembering if you haven't covered matplotlib before you need to just put plt.show so that's essentially going to show the plot so what i'll do is i'll just mi minimize my screen now all i'm going to do is we're just going to put a dot plot and hopefully it will produce a plot on the screen so let's run this amazing there we go so we didn't need to do the whole printing thing that we've previously been doing it's a very easy way and i'll just rerun that again so it appears back on the screen it's a very easy way of producing a plot very very handy and it means that you could do a whole range of different things let's say you've got more formulas that you need you know you've got a whole range of different things this is why object oriented programming is so useful because it means you can start with a couple of parameters in here put them in uh, and you know return some great results i used it as part of my dissertation and uh, yeah very it's very very good so this has been an example that incorporates a bit of maths but hopefully you understand the basic maths i've that i've said uh, and also just showing you how you can incorporate other python libraries into object oriented programming as well how cool is that so that has been the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please like subscribe and comment if you want to support this channel even further hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button there's also a donation page in the description if you want to support the channel even further but for now i will see you all in the next video